I don't know if they want us to go. Do you want us to go? God, no! Queen have been together 13 years or so, and uh, you want to do different things. I wanted to write a batch of songs that actually came out under the name Freddie Mercury. Yeah. So ask me about my solo album then, huh? <laughs> yeah, what about your solo album? Oh, it's great. Interview? Oh, don't be ridiculous. You missed the rest of the guys. Not at all. I keep wanting to leave, but they won't let me. I'm just a musical prostitute, my dear. Stop that. <laughs> I can make a bigger bang than that, dear. <laughs> Well, if you can't use that, I'll tell you. He was always pushing boundaries, changing tack. Keep them guessing. I'm going to opera, you know. Forget rock and roll. He was a little shy in the beginning. The Queen allowed Freddie to do a lot, but they certainly wouldn't have allowed him, I think, to, to get an opera singer in, especially a female one. In his mind, he had to create the best music he could for Barcelona because it might be the last thing that he was ever involved in. I was extremely promiscuous. I thought sex was a very important thing to me, and I lived through sex and I want everyone to get <laughs> all night, every day, just like I do. In those days, since there was no treatment, a lot of people chose not to get tested. They didn't want to know. And Freddie was one of them. I think, no, it can't happen to our mate. It can't happen to Freddie. They were made very much out of an awareness that Fred wasn't going to be around very long. Freddie Mercury was truly elusive and mysterious and enigmatic. We didn't know a lot about Freddie, and we still don't really know a lot about Freddie. I don't talk to everybody, so they don't really know the real me. I don't think anybody will. <laughs>